So right now I'm, with, I'm just going to cover up some tips and tricks part for you all so you can get to know about Zoho projects what it can do. So I'm just going to show the first tip which I like the most is the timer. In Zoho projects for a project you have created you can log hours. This is a task name. If you click on the task name you have to make one click and you have to click on add log hours and you have to manually type each and everything. So instead of doing it, we have an option which says timer. Let me show you that very quick. So this is a timer available left next to the task name. So if you just start the timer, it will automatically start ticking in. And this will record the time and stop the time whenever you want. This is to stop the manual work done from the project. So you can make use of this timer. And this timer also works in the mobile app too. If you're out somewhere, if you have an employee or contractor role user going out for any construction work, he can just start the timer and the timer will automatically record the time it's being spent here. And once done, you can just hit stop. The timer gets stops over here. And if you just click on the task name, you can see an entry of that being logged under the log user, log our section over here. Sorry about it. And the next one is the smart app. This one allows you to create a task milestone. You can upload a document or you can post a forum message from the dashboard section. You can see the status over here. From the dashboard section, you can type a direct message or you can type a status for your users from this. These features are known as the smart ad. So from this section, you can just hit add task. Just type a task name. Select the file if you have an attachment. Select the task list in where you want to push this task to and you can assign the task to the users over here and you can select a start date and you can select an end date and as well you can select the priority and you can submit so once done you can hit an add task over here likewise you can add a milestone from this section you can upload a document for your project and you can post a forum message for your project so this is a smart ad I use it often it helps me reduce my time in creating all the step-by-step -step process and we have project templates so users who are getting bored of creating the same projects again and again we have project template section for you available this template will allow you to copy a project set and you can utilize this set into many projects you want in simple terms you don't have to create things from scratch again and again all you have to do is just set up a template and make use of that for your entire projects and all the projects you're going to create. So we have a project template section here. Let me start creating one for you. New project template. Zaholix. And I can type in my project overview if you want. And I'm just hitting add project template. In this project template, you can see I have task and milestones. Where I can create a milestone for me. As of now, I'll just create a dummy task list for you. So I can create a task list. And I can also create some task over here. And the interesting thing is I can also provide the dates and I can assign this task to any user who is responsible for this. And I can provide them the duration like how many days they have to work on the task for. So I can select the duration. So over here which means I can set a task list. I can create a task and I can give them durations and all set all. So which makes me my work very easy. When I use this project template into an active project. I have everything set up. I just don't need to do anything. All you have to spend time on is the project template section. And along with that, we have the documents layout. So if you want to upload any of your documents, you can just keep it here. And you can create some discussions topic ready when you want to start the project. So once done, we have set up a template. And you can also add users. So if you want to have selective users in the template, just add them here. So when you create a new project using this, they will be automatically added to that too. You have created a template. Now how to implement this into an active project is a bigger task. So when you click on new project over here, there is an option which says choose a template. So I'll just select this and you can see the template that I created, Zoholix will be there. I'll just select it one. I'll just give a name for the project. I've just have choose a template and when I'm going to add a project, it, it, will, it, it will prompt you a message like it might take two to three minutes to come but it's nothing it will just come in 10 seconds for you 
When you go to the task and milestone section, you can see the task list I created there. Test A, B, and C task will be shown here. And you can see the assignee too. I've selected the assignee and the duration. Everything will be shown up very clear for you in here. So you can make use of the project template section to avoid creating things from scratch again and again. Inline feature. If you want to edit a task, you have to click on the task name. So when you go here, you just have to select the start date, end date, duration. So this is how you edit the task. But we have an inline feature available. You just have to close this. You no need half click on the task name. If you just mouse over to any of the owner fields start date, there will be a drop down. You can just select users directly from this section and you can just provide them start dates and you can provide them end dates accordingly in this layout. So this inline feature will help you and the next one is drag and drop task. So for example if you have created a lot of main tasks that is called as parent task in Zoho projects and if you want to make them certain as subtask, what you can do is you can just drag some task and you can drop it. For example I'm just going to make this promotional video coming up under the rough draft and review rough draft. You just have to just drag it and drop it on task here. And once you do this, now promotional video is a subtask. So you can just drag the task and you can drop it on so that you can make the subtask. But if you want to revert it back to the main task, you just have to click on the task name that you made it and click on make this as task. So once you do it, you will be able to reorder and drag and drop them accordingly. Now you can see promotional video is at the very bottom. And the last thing which I would like to tell about is the art feature. You can just have to type the symbol at and just type in the first letter of the user who you want to chat or you want to interact with. You can just send a direct message over here. And if you just hit, you can even send a direct message to them and even you can some add attachments. So this ad feature will help you to mention users if they are not aware, if they are not part of any activity. If you want to pull them in and watch them apart, you can make use of this ad function over here. And this ad function will help you in more cases. For example, if you are in a task, if you want to alert someone about this task, just type in this symbol and type in the first letter of the user. This will allow you to have an interaction and they will receive an email notification about the art feature you have mentioned. So this art feature will help you in more ways that you can have a direct interaction and this all works with an email notification. They will receive an email notification via two ways. One is via email and one is via this notification box. So these were certain some tips and tricks and I hope this session was very intuitive for you all.